Hello and welcome, I'm Nafio42 and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this, a magic mirror. Okay, so in order to make this you'll need a couple of bits. I have uh, some of the main parts here. Uh, I managed to get a um, power plug off of Amazon. It's not, it's not boxed, which is um, good for me, I quite like that. Uh, it's 2 amps, 12 volts, this one. I hope, hopefully, that is enough to be able to power this thing. Um, so what we have here is the, um, the board for the screen. Now for this one I had to do a load of setup for this uh, screen to actually work. I had to flash a, uh, a, a different um, firmware onto it through the USB port um, and <clears throat> yeah it has the connector here for the screen so this connector will go to the screen which will be sitting around about here um, there's a power plug there and then a HDMI that goes into a Raspberry Pi the Raspberry Pi is also luckily enough strong enough to be powered by this board um, it does sometimes flash up an error saying that it's uh, underpowered what I had to do was I had to down clock the Raspberry Pi so that it would draw less power. Um, I've done that and it seems to have worked successfully so fingers crossed that that's all fine. I heard that you can uh, technically damage the micro SD card by doing that but I think for, for my use case and because it will be rarely actually processing much at all uh, it should be fine. I could probably clock it down a little bit even more uh, just for uh, safety on that side, but I don't think it would be that necessary. Um, oh, yeah, and the other bits, we have this right cable here. This goes to this little board here, and what this is is the light to tell you that the screen's on and also the IR receiver for the um, for the remote control. There is a remote control, it's somewhere. I can't remember where exactly. Uh, I've got this board here, which is uh, probably fairly... Uh, common to most of you guys, it's a uh, button board for the uh, for the screen. Um, yeah, so these two aren't technically required. No, wait, they are. They are definitely required. You need to be able to turn the screen on in order to be able to um, turn the, the turn the screen on. Um, saying that, I'm not sure if uh, if this plug was disconnected. That as soon as power went to the main. Um, to the to the board that it would just turn the screen on that might happen that might be something that you could look into if you really wanted to just do it off the plug but then again if you were to do that the Raspberry Pi shutting down so suddenly would not be a good thing to do I've now I've gone ahead and mounted this to the back plate so I printed out the back plate it's this uh, it's got three screw holes at the bottom now these hold uh, this thing upwards facing this way towards you um, and yeah, I know I've not done the greatest of jobs at explaining everything that's going on right now, but bear with me. This is the frame. So if I try and get that into frame, there we go. So that is a frame. I've screwed this part all together. This printed on my Prusa in order to get it to print on my Prusa. I printed it in wood filament, by the way. Um, Amolin uh, wood filament. So it looks like wood. It kind of has a... Uh, slightly more tactile feel, I guess, or a slightly rougher feel. Uh, it's matte as well, so it looks a bit more woody. Um, and then this part will go on the top here. And that'll be the, the frame for the screen. And then I've got a bit of um, one-way mirror that will go in front of the, the actual thing when we get it, when we put the screen in. And then there we go. So. Oh, actually, for the next part, I need to get the screen, so uh, bear with me. Okay, so now I have the screen here. Um, the screen isn't perfect. There is a little bit of a weird blemish to the middle of it somewhere, um, but that is fine. Um, now, I'll just go over how I connected this whole screen together just real quickly. Um, if you look at the bottom here, you'll see there's two screws either side. They screw from the bottom and from this side at the bottom. There's this connector here on this side and that side. Uh, they're 
both literally just screwed in as well. So there's two screws on either side. They're fairly well stuck. You can use some glue in there, or you could use some um, something to hold them together as well. Uh, or you can also just bolt this one. So this one, you can put uh, one that goes further through. I put two little nut spaces, uh, nut holes on there, but I don't know if they will work with the nut. It's just a, a hopeful thing that maybe someone will find useful. Now the screws that I recommend for this are from this kit here, it's May YYJ. I don't really know if that if that says something in in Chinese or whatever, but yeah, there we go. Um, these are all very nice uh, screws. <laughs> it's got M2 uh, fours, M2.5 fours, M2 fives, M2.5 fives. You get the gist. Uh, we use some of these uh, different different types of screws on this one. To be fair. Um, and there are different mount places around the outside of the frame. So this is the front of the frame, obviously, because this is the nicer look inside. Uh, the back of the frame, there's, there's not going to be a back to this to this thing. Um, but the three screws will dip it down here to screw the backboard in, the back plate. Um, there's two screws here, which will be for the buttons. And you can see the buttons have been drilled, or not drilled, the buttons are on there and because they have the uh, they got a little bit of flex to them or they should do hopefully uh, they definitely yeah they do they do have a bit of flex to them um, on the left side here we have a little block missing and that is um, for the IR receiver and you can see you've got two little screw holes this side with it perfectly spaced now this will only work obviously if you have the exact kit that I have and the exact screen pretty much uh, that I have but yeah um, I'll leave links to everything in the description below so you can pick it up if you want that anyway uh, on this side we have our little fan hole um, it's for a 30 mil fan um, which will obviously have to also comply with everything inside uh, I looked I think you can get one of these fans that do fit into a Raspberry Pi I've not managed to pick myself up one just yet but I will eventually get one that fits this um, I'll probably um, use some foam to stop it from gathering dust inside and uh, put a little grill on the front as well. Uh, now I've not made the grill yet but I mean that will be one of the easier parts to make for this um, and that could be something that I look at later on down the line. Let's start by screwing some of the boards in. So the next part, you need to get your mirror, make sure you clean it all.
Okay, so the mirror screen is on. We're going to attach the top bit now. I've not cleaned the front part of this yet. I just cleaned the back bit so that it's, um, well, because you can clean the front part anytime. You can't clean the back part anytime. Okay, so here is the mirror now. I've got it next to my PC. As you can see, it reflects nicely of the actual computer screen here. And you can see other these other things. If you look at the back of it, it looks like this. Uh, there is a little hole down the side here for you to push the cable through. Uh, I can't reach that from this position. There is also a fan hole here for future if you need to vent or help the air flow for this thing. Basically this just goes straight into a cable, no box, into this plug. Now hopefully that's not going to be an issue uh, for the um, power consumption or anything. So, okay, if we keep that here, uh, underneath on the bottom, I don't know if you've seen this before, there's the buttons there, and that connects with the bottom board. So, if we just press one of these buttons, the little light thing there changes. That turns the screen on, you get a Linux, uh, you get a Raspberry Pi system here, or a Raspbian, uh, which is Raspberry Debian, uh, which is a form of Linux, uh, adopted to the ARM processor for the Raspberry Pi. I think it's an ARM processor. Uh, if you give it a couple more seconds, I used this, an install script for um, Magic Mirror, and what that does, hopefully, in a moment. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, it just black screened the device, and now things are showing up very slightly in the mirror. It looks pretty good on the camera, actually. Um, so you can see you know, the time and the date. Over here you have the uh, weather. You can also focus through the mirror. Okay. Um, there are some bubbles that I need to get out of this mirror. And as you can see down here, I've got the news ticker. I've got the news which has a load of RSS feeds that I care about in. Um, I've got a ticker down here for stocks and shares that I have invested. Um, and I have another one here, which is for um, Google traffic reports. So this is the road that goes to the motorway near me. Um, and it shows you if it's green, then it's good. If it's red, then you know to double check Google Maps or whatever and uh, maybe organize a different route. So that is it for the Magic Mirror. If you guys want me to do anything specifically such as uh, the software side of it, how to set that up um, or any other add-ons, I'm going to probably try and add some things to this, um, uh, how to add add-ons and things like that as well. I'm probably going to try to um, add a couple of other bits to the frame. So I want to put a, a wall mount bit on so that you can just drill something into the wall and then you can push this onto it. That's my hopes for this. Um, and if I can make that a reality, that'd be great. Um, other than that, I do want to try and make a couple of bits in Python for it because I think that would be pretty good. Um, I do like the idea of programming uh, um, for this device and I'd like to learn a few more bits for it. Other than that, that is this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter, that's at me 42 and thanks for watching.